long tidings to Mary, and she, she conceived by, by the Holy Ghost. And Mary, for the grace of the Lord, is with me. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Now Mary, for the grace of the Lord, is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Now Mary, for the grace of the Lord, is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion will we come to know the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Christ, 
Obviously, it's taken from the Book of Wisdom. No vine ever yielded fruit so fragrant. The enjoyment of honour and riches is the fruit I bear. It is I that give birth to all noble loving, all reverence, all true knowledge, and the holy gift of hope. From me comes every grace of faithful observance. From me all promise of life and vigour. Hither turn your steps, all you that have learned to long for me. Take your fill of the increase I yield. Never was honey so sweet as the influence I inspire. Never honeycomb as the gift I bring. Mine is a renown that endures age after age. Eat of this fruit and you will yet hunger for more. Drink of this wine and your thirst for it is still unquenched. He who listens to me will never be disappointed. He who lives by me will do no wrong. He who reads my lesson aright will find in it life eternal. And the Holy Gospel today is a continuation of that according to St. Luke. At this time, God sent the angel Gabriel to a city of Galilee called Nazareth, where a virgin dwelt betrothed to a man of David's lineage. His name was Joseph, and the virgin's name was Mary. Into her presence the angel came and said, Hail, thou who art full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. She was much perplexed at hearing him speak so, and cast about in her mind what she was to make of such a greeting. Then the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid, thou hast found favour in the sight of God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and shalt bear a son, and shalt call him Jesus. He shall be great, and men will know him for the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob eternally. His kingdom shall never have an end. But Mary said to the angel, How can that be, since I have no knowledge of man? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon thee, and the power of the Most High will overshadow thee. Thus this holy offspring of thine shall be known for the Son of God. See, moreover, how it fares with thy cousin Elizabeth. She is old, yet she too has conceived a son. She who was reproached with barrenness is now in her sixth month, to prove that nothing can be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, let it be done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, for the grace of the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray Holy for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Carissimi beloved in Christ, welcome to this broadcast Mass on this, the Feast of the Most Holy Name of Mary. Also today, of course, the fifth day in the octave of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin. Today's feast is given, or was given, to the Church Universal uh, in 1683 to commemorate uh, the victory by the Venetians over the Turks. For those not so familiar uh, with history, it was a very significant uh, battle, uh, one that uh, uh, if the Venetians had lost, um, we might well uh, have uh, be living uh, under something uh, like Daesh and ISIS uh, are trying to impose uh, upon the Levant. Uh, it was uh, uh, through, believed to be through, the intercession uh, of Mary uh, that the uh, Christian Venetians won that battle. But the notion of this feast uh, had long since before uh, been conceived of uh, and had been celebrated locally in Spain and in other countries, but it was only after that battle uh, that uh, uh, the Pope uh, decreed that this feast be celebrated universally. What does this feast of the Most Holy Name of Mary mean? Well, of course, if we look at today's elections for the Mass, as we reflected the other day, indeed, on the Feast of the Nativity of uh, the Blessed Virgin, uh, the uh, Book of Wisdom generally, of course, is referring to Santa Sophia, to Holy Wisdom, really referring to Christ. But, of course, uh, these readings are used so often uh, for Feasts of Our Lady because she, of course, uniquely shares in the mission of the Christ. She shares uniquely in the mystery of the incarnation, of the manifestation of God in Christ. So it is that it seems often uh, the words that are 
uh, referring to holy wisdom uh, seem also apt uh, for she who was so uniquely uh, uh, given to be the um, uh, vehicle and the vessel and the means of grace by which uh, salvation was brought to the world. It is today an opportunity too, uh, therefore to uh, give thanks to God for the gift of Mary, to give thanks to God for the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin. Throughout the centuries, both in East and West, there are numerous, numerous uh, examples uh, of the efficacy of Our Lady's intercession. Invoking the holy name of Mary uh, has, as we've already commented, uh, won battles, uh, but more importantly has brought about miracles, healing, conversion, faith, renewal in faith, pilgrimage, penance, reparation to God. It has increased uh, faith, hope and love and charity in generations of Christians throughout the centuries. We know and we give honour to Mary because she is Theotokos, she is the mother of God incarnate. For that she has been always venerated in the hearts and minds of the Christian faithful. We know she was a central and important figure, of course, to the Incarnation, but also to, of course, to the uh, nascent Church. She was there at the very beginning of the Church, there as mother to the Apostles as they went about building the Church upon Christ's foundation, upon that cornerstone, upon that bedrock of the confession of faith in Jesus as the Son of God, as the Messiah. Mary is uh, more than any other uh, person in the whole of humanity, inextricably linked to the gospel of salvation through her own uh, submission to the will of God for the salvation of humanity. For which reason we hear today in the Gospel the Golden Legend. This Gospel of course the Annunciation uh, in medieval manuscripts and books of the Gospels was always the most highly decorated. Always uh, the, uh, the uh, uh, words uh, uh, written in gold because the Annunciation, of course, is the uh, uh, declaration of the fulfilment by God of his promise to the people of the Old Testament, of the fulfilment of his promise of a Messiah. But a Messiah who will come, as Isaiah says, not just, not just for uh, the holy people of Israel, but for all mankind. And in this Gospel we see uniquely uh, presented to us the highest example, the most esteemed example of one who would willingly give themselves to God's will. One could speak for hours about the Gospel of the Annunciation. There are all sorts of facets and aspects and perspectives that might, uh, that one could consider. But all of these can be summed up in noting the total and complete submission by Mary to the will of God as presented to her by Gabriel the Archangel. And always what I find interesting is that this submission to the will of God was not without an exercise in prudence, in discernment. And 
as you always, my brothers and sisters, is so important and so key to the nature of discovering the will of God for ourselves. Ignoring uh, how incredible it must have been for an archangel suddenly to have appeared in one's room and to have made such a pronouncement. Our Lady still has the wit to ask, how can this be, for I have no knowledge of man? There, we might say, is prudence. There, we might say, is wisdom. That question itself demonstrates both how willing Mary was to subject herself to the will of God, but also to how concerned she was to understand God's will for her. Ignoring, of course, the other complexities of her situation, being betrothed to another man, not being herself being Virgo in tanto. Of all the implications that might come about, the questioning, of course, by Joseph, indeed by his family and her family, of all the possible uh, consternation about a virgin conceiving. And yet Mary says, let it be done unto me according to thy word. Word so important, so important. In the beginning was the word. Blessed are they who hear the word and keep it. And here Our Lady demonstrates to us again the perfect example of one who would follow Christ. Let it be done to me according to thy word. For what is God's word but life? That life which was the light of men. That light that came into the world to dispel darkness and bring knowledge of God so that those who believed in his name would not perish but have everlasting life. so important, my brothers and sisters, to us, or certainly I find important to me, and the Gospel in the Annunciation is this demonstration of prudence, of wisdom, of discernment. All too often, so many of us think we uh, have uh, recognised God's will and we plunge ourselves, throw ourselves into it without perhaps pausing to consider how can this be? And as Our Lady demonstrates to us enthusiasm and eagerness to uh, satisfy the will of God of course are important things but we must do so prudently Indeed, as one wise priest once said to me when I was balking at the idea of how long a time I would have to study in seminary, God gave us brains and expects us to use them. We see this in Mary's example, in her question, in her prudence, in her wisdom. So my brothers and sisters, in celebration of this feast, which reminds us of the powerful intercession of Mary, reminds us that she is the most holy Theotokos, that she is the mother of God, that she is holy for that reason, of course, uh, uh, we celebrated uh, her assumption for something that had been so uniquely touched by God could not just be allowed and left to perish and rot away on earth. We know that Our Lady
Ladies' intercession has assisted hundreds and thousands and millions and billions of Christians throughout the last 2,000 years. We would do well, my brothers and sisters, ourselves to seek her intercession, to seek her who sits next to her son in heaven, she who continuously directs us to him. What are the last words we hear of Mary but do as he tells you? But let us too, in discerning God's will for our lives, exercise prudence, exercise wisdom, seek that gift of the Holy Spirit that made her so full of grace that she enjoyed that gift of wisdom and prudence. So that we, who would apply ourselves to, our, to his will, may do so confidently, understanding what his will for our lives is. And as we've reflected before, his will, of course, for our life, each and every one of us, is to live in love and in union with him, and to bring others to live in love and in union with him. This, my brothers and sisters, is such an important aspect of discerning God's will and of discerning vocation. Is God calling me to live? Is what I think God is calling me to, to live in love and in union with him and to bring others to live in love and union with him? So often, my brothers and sisters, those trying to discern vocation get lost within themselves. But if we were to follow the example of Mary, then we might also too be affirmed and confirmed that despite our fragility and weaknesses, all things are possible with God his Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Corredo in unum Deum, Patre, Omnipotentem, Factorum Celi, et Enem, Visibilium Omnium, et Invisibilium, et in unum Dominum, Gaesum, Christum, Filium, Dei Unigenitum, et ex patrin antem ante omnia secula, Deum de Deo, lumen de lumine, dem verum de Deo vero, genitum non factum consustantialem patri, pequem omnia factus sum, qui propte nos homines e propte nostrum salutem, descendi de celis, et incarnatus est de Spiritus Sancto ex Marie Virgine, et homo factus est, crucifixus est, siam pro nobis supponso pilatu, passus e subultus est, et res rex i des i die secundus veturas, et ascendit in celum sedere et extram patris, et itero veturus et cum gloria iudicari vivos et motuos, cuius regni non erit finis, et in spiritum sanctum dominum et fidificata, qui ex patre progeni, qui cum patre et filio semulator ad or cum glorificatur, qui locutus est per profetas, et unam, sanctam, catholicam, et apostolicam, ecclesia, confidium, baptismer, in remissionem peccatorem, et expecto resurrectionem mortuorum, et vitam venturi seculi. Amen. Dominus vabiscum, et cum spirito tuo. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in rielibus, et benedictus luctus ventis tu.
secula seculorum. Amen. Amen. Dominus vobiscum, et, et cum spirito tuo, susum corda, habemus ad Domino. Gracias a Damus, Domino Deo nostro. Dignum et justum est. Vere dignum et justum est ecum et salutari, nos tibi sempre dubi fai gracias as de Domine Sancte Pater Nipotens et Dene Deus. Et in festivitate beate Marti e sette viginis calodare, benedicere et predicare. Que et unigenitum tuum Sancti Spiritus sum popolazione concedi. Et virginitatis gloria permanente Domine Eterno mundo e putit, Iesum Christum Domino nostro. Per tue me estate in tuum lago et angeli adorante dominazione estremus potestatens, Felice a rupe per tutte e beate serre fin, soci su tazione con genera. Con cui cosa nostri suoci su te miti ubeste pregavo, supplici confessione di gente. Santo, 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 Dominus Deus Sagano, pleni su geni a te, gloria tua, o esana in excessis. Benedictus tui veni, che domine e domini, Poisana in excelsis.
the last day of creation chain, Sancti Jacob and Albania, the Raymond Tomb, fearful on task to us, seek good in chain of a infer. Father Nostrum, God of the Arm, the Nobis, Father, and Hill, the Nobis, that is the last of us, seek the last of the most territory whose last is, and then of Sinto Class in the Nazion. Say, Ece amius Dei, ece qui tolit peccato mundi. Domine non sunt ignus, ut in tres subtectum mea, sed tantum dic verba, et sun arbitur anima mea. Domine non sunt ignus, ut in tres subtectum mea, sed tantum dic verba, et sun arbitur anima mea. Domine non sunt ignus, ut in tres subtectum mea, Set tantum de verbo, et sin arbitur anima mea. Brothers and sisters watching Mass online and unable therefore to receive the Blessed Sacrament, we invite you now to make an act of spiritual communion, the words for which we will find below your viewing screen. My Jesus, I believe that Thou art present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love Thee above all things, and I desire Thee in my soul. Since I cannot now receive Thee sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. As though thou wert already there, I embrace thee, and unite myself wholly to thee. Permit not that I should ever be separated from thee.
Fischer amarnie vicinis, que pot averrum de teni patris fili. Suo pisco e con spirito tuo. Ordenus. Sunt sis domine salutis nostri subsidis, da qua essumus beate marie sempre viginis patoginis non dubique protegi, in cui svarazioni hai tuo ciulimus mestat. Per domino nostro, e su Cristo figlio cum, vita e cum vive da regno ad un'unitati spiritus santi del. Per omnia secula seculo. Amen. Dominus suo pisco, et con spirito tuo, ite misa est, deo gratias. In nome Domini benedictum, et sacrum petusque in secula, auto dormi nostro in nome Domini, qui fece cielo e terra, benedicat vos omnipotens Deus. Pate, et filius, et spiritus sanctus. Amen. Dominus obiscum, et cum spiritu tuo, initium sancti evangelii, secundum Giovannem, gloria a te, Dei Domini. In principio ad et verbum, et verbum ad et apodeum, et Deus ad et verbum, operat in principio ad apodeum, omnia prezzo factus unti, simto factum isnilio, quo factum est. In ipso vita erat, in vita erat lux hominum, et us in tenebres luce, et tenebre er non comprehendem. Cui tomo missus ed elco in nomen erat Giovannes, in veriti testimoni, in mut testimoni bevere tu lumine, con le scrette lo tuinum. Non eri tiri luce, lo testimoni bevere tu lumine. Ere plus vere, qual lumina dominem hominem venientem in hocundum. In mundo erat, in mundo spesso factus est, in mundo sembro con non cognom. Proprio veniti se un oro cepevo. Quod quod au temus cipedum teum deides forestat in filio stefti, et quies quicrent in nomine eus, qui non è sanguinibus necus notati panis, necus notati filis, et ex deonatismo. Et verbum parlo factum eis, in capitao vit in nobis et vidimus gloria meus gloria, in quasi emergenite a patria per un croazia e veritatis. Deo grazia. Patron Saints Catherine and Wilfred, pray, pray for, for us. us. May Saint Louina, Virgin Martin of Sussex, and all the, Sus all the saints of Sussex, pray, pray for, for us. And may Our Lady, Queen of Heaven, the Most Holy Tetokos, all the Holy Apostles, Prophets, Angels, and Saints, pray, pray for us. <laughs> 